black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Are rolling in, and that means we got to get cooking. And today, that means any type of delicious spaghetti with cheesy garlic bread, all pretty much homemade. So, we're prepped, and it's time to get rolling. All right, well, left to my own choice, I'm always going to pick a spaghetti bolognese. So, that's what we're going to make today bolognese from scratchy scratch. Get a pan on the heat right away. Come over here, we have our bacon ready to go. We're gonna render that down, get those fats working. And then we're gonna zip over to the Cuisinart. Right here, my friend, hello, how are ya? <laughs> so we're gonna get this bacon rendered out real quick. And while that's happening, we're gonna head on over and get our holy trinity, our mirepoix, celery, carrot, onion, buzzed off in the Cuisinart. So come over here, join me. So like I told you guys in a previous video, I just scooped this bad boy for Christmas. So we're gonna go in with onion, celery pieces, and of course some carrots. And that my friends is the mirepoix, the holy trinity. Snap that lid on and let's get to it. Add that to the bacon. All right, we'll let this sweat and get that water kind of evaporated out of here and then we're gonna add in our meat. Sweating like a hoe in church, you know what I mean? Yeah, you get it, you see, you understand. All right, looking good, I'd say we're there. A lot of the water's come out and now we gotta go in with the mints. Break this guy up, get it nice and seared off, get some nice color on it. I wanna get some nice dark brown on it, get some nice Maillard reaction. That's all flavor, baby. Get that all worked in, and then we're gonna go in with some other things, but you just stay and wait for that. Okay, so now we'll bring this together. That's called incorporation, my friend. <laughs> so you will just bring this together, incorporate, incorporate, incorporate. Bring as much moisture out as we can for now. This is already smelling quite fantastic, but it's only gonna get better. So push that off to the side. I'm gonna come in with a beef bouillon cube, or a little jiggly thing. <laughs> Red wine. Get some deeper flavor in there. And of course, we gotta have an element of tomato puree, tomato paste. One can. And then we'll go ahead and work that all in. Get some nice deep depth of flavor. So now that we got the base built, we're just gonna go in with like a pinch of salt, fresh cracked. Some basil leaves here, oregano, and some parsley. Go in with the last of that wine, wine, wine knot. And then now, because we want it to simmer and marry and come together for a while, we're just gonna add some water. And we're gonna let that slowly simmer out now for about two hours. And you can just keep adding water as it goes. You know, as it starts to kind of dry up a bit, you can just keep adding water. If you have some chicken stock or beef stock, some liquid stock, you can add that, but we already have a stock cube in here. So we're just gonna let that go. All right, just for an update, I did a little quick taste test. I did add a little garlic puree and I did probably like half a tablespoon. So just gonna have a taste test here and see where we're at. Ooh, I feel like Nona. Nona on a Sunday in the 1920s. Hot. But already oh so delicious. So the garlic made a huge difference. And then I added a bit more salt. 
as it goes, as I add water, as it reduces, and I kind of have to keep it alive to build the flavors. I'm sure I'm gonna have to tweak and add more salt at the end, but for now, it's already delicious as hell. <laughs> All right, while that's stewing, let's go ahead and whip up our garlic butter spread for when we do our bread. It's super easy. Just go in with a gang of butter. Probably that's enough for me. I'm doing two pieces of bread. That'll be plenty enough, actually. <laughs> but hey, the more the merrier, right? So butter, once again, I have this garlic puree. Just makes life easier. Go in with a nice chunk of that because it is garlic bread, right? We want it garlicky. And then to that, I have, you know, you could have fresh if you want. I just have this stuff, parsley flakes. Come on in. Parsley flakes have entered the chat. And then I'm going in with the basil as well. Oh, that's way too much. I went over the heavy side. Wow. Okay, well, we'll see how that works. See how that incorporates. And just mash her out until she's nice and whipped. And you can just mash it and whip it until it's the consistency that you like and everything seems balanced. I'm smelling the garlic quite a lot. I made a mistake by with the basil, but honestly, I mean, that's not too herb heavy. It's a nice garlic herb butter. So there we go. It's that easy, ladies and gents. Keep that at room temp, nice and whipped so that when you go to spread on the bread, it doesn't rip and become dead. You know what I mean? But there you go, garlic butter, that easy. All right, so we're about an hour and a half into the simmer, and as you can see, things are coming together, thickening up, and that's what I want ultimately by the end of this. I want it to not be too runny of a sauce. I don't want it to be dry and thick and clumpy, but I definitely don't want it to be too wet, you know? I want the noodles to kind of grab on to the meat when we incorporate the noodles into it so we'll let's go another about half hour i'm gonna do a little taste test once again this time we'll just go off the wooden spoon like no no wood nice little chunk of meat there see where we're at in terms of flavor salt and things like that <sighs> mm, wow it's so flavorful it's uh, not needing any, any salt yet. And I don't think I'm gonna need to do any more water. So I think we're pretty much there. It's just a matter of a little bit of a half an hour time right now. And then we're gonna get to grubbing. All right, bang on these flames. Hi, a little bit of water in a pot. Pretty self-explanatory. I think we all know how to boil some noodles, but just in case you don't, a little bit of salt. Case closed and we let that come up. All right, now for this garlic bread. I got this nice bun here. Already pre-cut, just gonna pull it in half. These are beautiful from my local area. And then, and like I said, keep that garlic butter nice and soft for the spread. So it's just an easy, no hassle, spread them. Perfect. So this is gonna be a two-part garlic bread. We're gonna get this on here. And then we're gonna toast it first a little bit and then get the cheese on later. So I'm gonna pop this on a convection bake for, I'm gonna go kind of low on it a little bit, maybe like, yeah, I'll go 300. And I'm just gonna bake these for a little bit to get them nice and crunchy, but not too fully cooked. And then we'll melt the cheese on after with the broiler. Okay, I think we're boiling. Hot cloth, be careful. Pass the in, and we'll let that start to droop until it gets all the way in there. There we go, just work it in gently, full submerge. I'm gonna let that go for about 10 minutes. All right, so these nudes are about five minutes along. 
nice and al dente right now. I personally like them a little softer, so I'm gonna keep going to about 10 minutes. All right, so this garlic bread, right? As you can see, top still nice and soft, but the bottom, if you listen, we got crunch. That's what we wanted. We just want the outside nice and crunchy, the bottom nice and crunchy, but the top still soft. Then the next move is this, the mozzarella. Lots of matzo on top. And then we're just gonna broil that out and get some nice leoparding on it. And melt it all over. All right, so switch over to the broil. Nice and high, 450, pop her down. And we come in here. Okay, so the pasta comes off, it's ready. Don't even need to strain it or nothing. We bring back the bolognese. What we do is a little bit of pasta water. Got it back on a medium heat. Just to revitalize, reinvigorate this uh, sauce a little bit. Okay, straight out of the pasta water are serving the noodles, right? Perfect. And now, we just top, toss those about in the sauce. Okay, work it around, spin it around, around and around, incorporate, 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 right? So the next move is the plate. We spin and we twirl upon entry. Spin, twirl, stack. Spin, twirl, stack. Nice and high. Just a thing of beauty. Then, we're not done yet. All right, now, we top with the meat sauce. All right, not too runny. Nice and thick, right on top. Mm -hmm. Microplane, Parmesan, beautiful Parmesan cheese, right? Bring the blizzard. This is Canada in a, in a, in it, in Italia. We need lots. Okay, slide this back for a second. Incoming. That garlic bread. Oh, that's not done yet. We got one more move. Remember that garlic butter we made? Bring some in clarified. Right on top. Just for an extra hit of beauty, All right? These are gonna go on the diagonal in half. And then we're gonna plate. One here, one right here. What do you think? Would you eat it? Did I nail it? Is that good enough for a subscriber sponsored request? I think so. Let's get to eating. All right, right off top, massive shout out to the subscriber who sponsored this meal, and that is Yogi Like the Bear. She has requested to be shouted out in that fashion, so shout out to you. Thank you for coming through with the specific, semi specific. You did want. A spaghetti of any sort basically as long as there was sour cream and some cheesy garlic bread to go along with it and of course I'm always gonna bring the pepperoncini so shout out to you she's down in Florida and I'm jealous of that right now and I'll explain why later in this video but for now I'll clarify that I'm keeping it clarified in terms of my beverage and that is H2O water I, uh, I don't have any real delicious beverages on hand but what I do have on hand is this and quite frankly it's all that matters right now so it's beautiful you guys saw it come together saw the up close and personal but i might as well just give you one more right 
So I got the bolognese or a ragu, you might call it, whatever. The spaghetti noodles, fresh parm. And I'm super down and ready to get into it. So I'm going to take one bite just straight up off the twirl, right? Do the grab and the twirl. Do we need the spoon for it? Probably not. Oh, that's a long one though. It's a two-hander. <laughs> All right. No. There we go. That's fine. That's perfect. Okay. All right. The, the twirl is yours. <laughs> Whose twirl is this? The twirl is yours. Okay. I do want to try it. Just in it. Naked bare necessities without any other flavor disruptions. She's hot, but let's go. No. Oh man. I'm so glad you requested this video and I'm so glad this is what I chose. That is, it's just different. That is very, very different. Just because of the homemade aspectness of it, right? Just that extra love and touch. Okay. A sour cream bite. With a pepperoncini. We got it. We definitely got it. Sour cream adds such a beautiful richness and a cut. I gotta go in with a, a full on spread at this point for that. Okay, so from what I've heard, Florida seems to be open for business you know they have a uh, Republican for a, a figurehead down there in terms of their government I don't know what they call it their mayor or whatever but he apparently hasn't been really shutting down the economy and from the TikToks I've seen about Florida down there they call it the uh, corona crock pot And I'm so over this whole thing. I legit shit you not. I was looking at tickets. <laughs> I just want to go have a good time. Okay. This garlic bread, like I told you guys about. With that final brushing of the clarified butter. Crucial move. Like, just obviously stupid good. This bun, too, is perfect. And yes, I am going to dip it in sour cream. <laughs> Need it so much better. Wow. Mm. Honestly, 
just kind of speechless. It's just so good. So I've got a few more subscriber requests to do, to, 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 to do this week. I'm actually feeling the pressure a little bit. You all know who you are. <clears throat> I got yours coming, so. It is, uh, it's cool. It's, it's very much appreciated. I, I love this. People write to me exactly what they want. They're willing to sponsor and this happens. And then I get to enjoy an amazing home cooked meal. The other thing too that's good about it is it forces me yikes, into the cooking mode. When I have the, the pressure behind me, that's when I operate, be <laughs> operate best. When I, when, uh, when I know I have to do something for somebody. It's the way I've been my whole life. Especially with school, I was always super last minute. Or when you're stressed on like trying to get rent together and stuff like that. You make it happen in the clutch. I don't know that it's the best way to live, but certainly a good, uh, you know, skill to have is that like mental fortitude, that toughness to like really just to always pull it together at the last second. Mm. But you guys see what I mean about the sauce, like what I was saying as I was cooking, right? You don't want it to be too soupy. You just want the noodles coated and then you want to be left with these chunks of sauce, the meat sauce, right? It's not supposed to be super soupy and wet. It's supposed to be just nice. I don't know about where you're at in the world, but around me, this whole world situation seems to be amplifying. It's not getting any better. In fact, it's getting worse. So, you know, I kind of saw it coming. I knew we were in for a, a rough winter go. And uh, I personally don't expect to be even close in the clear until I would say like September of 21. I think by then we'll have at least some semblance of where this is headed, where we're going, what's really going on. It's a long way away. What can we do though? 
short of overthrowing the government, <laughs> like the world's government, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what happens in the States with the finalizing of these, you know, this election situation. How that affects the rest of the world. If we reach fever pitch globally. <laughs> up together and collectively say we've had enough unfortunately there's uh, too much division though I've been watching a lot a lot of TikToks of the mask anti-mask basically just hate feud that happens out in public Once again, creating agitation, anger, hate, division amongst the people. If already, if it wasn't already bad enough, as if it already wasn't bad enough with just general politics and race, religion, religion, sect, creed, all that. Now we have the mask and the disagreement relative to it to contend with. But in my best estimate, that, that's the goal. Keep them arguing. Keep them in the low vibration. Keep them distracted amongst each other. They'll ruin each other before they pay attention to the big picture come together and stop engaging in senseless just anger filled spats relative to personal viewpoint and belief That's the main problem anyways. Our conflicts with each other because of our beliefs and our ideologies. It's the simple truth. No, you're wrong. I'm right. I'm right. You're wrong. Here's why. Because I believe this guy, and I believe that guy, and I believe this magical person in the sky. Or I don't believe in the magical person in the sky. <laughs> and it's just argue, argue, argue. Tension, tension, tension. Conflict, conflict, conflict. No resolution. Welcome to Earth. <laughs> At least the food's good here. If it's cooked by me. So, delicious. Shout out to Yogi Like the Bear. 
got a little in my mind there here at the end but obviously when i'm in flow state whatever comes out is what needs to come out so that needed to come out today so there it is for you if you'd like to see one of these for yourself links are in the description or even in the highlighted pinned comment in my comment box please do and i'm going to start asking please do like comment share subscribe uh, I would love to succeed here. I'm quite tired of putting out pretty solid content and just being eclipsed constantly. Uh, so if you could, most mostly share is like the biggest thing because I, I just need to like get out there further. So anyways, this was delicious. Once again, big ups to the sponsor, subscriber, sponsored request. Until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. And stay true.